Hello, uh, welcome back to second question of convex optimization book and I in this uh, video I'm going to prove uh, a set is convex if and only if its intersection with any line is convex and uh, that is uh, connected with the fact that if a set is affine uh, if and only if its intersection with any line is affine. So uh, let's see how can we prove this. First, uh, let's start with an arbitrary line L to prove the claim. The claim in mathematics notation uh, can be written as C is convex if and only if two-sided uh, implications C intersection with any line. So that is for any line is convex. Now uh, we need to observe first fact and that first fact is that uh, a line is a convex set. So I am going to use this fact but before using this fact I need to prove this fact. How can I prove this? First of all, I need to define an arbitrary line and to define an arbitrary line, I need two points x1 and x2. Here it is x2 and here is x1. So a line is a set of points where we have x1 and x2 as two fixed points and for any theta in R, that linear combination gives us points on this line. So this is the definition of the line. Now. I need to show this line is a convex set and to show a set is a convex set I need to pick two points on the set and then show that the convex combination is back into the set. So using the definition of convexity I need to show y1 and y2 the linear combination of y1 and y2 is back in L. But what is y1? y1 is just a point where uh, we have theta1 as the parameter of the uh, set and y2 uh, the same is another point with theta2. So now I have two points, uh, y1 and y2. <clears throat> I should <clears throat> show that, excuse me, for a convex combination of y1 and y2 where lambda is a uh, scalar from 0 to 1, uh, that point is in L. So let's try to write uh, that linear, that convex combination in next slide. So I have lambda one, lambda y one, and one minus lambda y two. So I should just need to plug y one in and plug y two in, and then expand lambda and lambda one minus uh, one minus lambda. So uh, and finally here I will group everything in terms of x1 and x2. What I uh, would end up with is a coefficient times, times x1 and a, a coefficient times x2. Uh, what I really hope is the first coefficient be theta tilde and the second one be 1 minus uh, theta tilde, but I don't know th if this is 1 minus theta tilde. Uh, uh, because if this is the case, then that means x, uh, this linear combination is in L and then I am done. So uh, if this is one minus lambda, uh, one minus theta tilde, so this sum has to be one, just copy from here and copy from here and then, and then we can just take a look and cancel these two out, cancel these two out, and uh, cancel lambda with negative lambda to end up with one. Therefore, this convex combination is in L, and then we're done. 
So L is a convex set. When L is a set uh, and L is a line, that set is a convex set. This is what we know from uh, the job that we have done so far. Next, I need another observation saying A and B are convex if A intersection B is a convex set. So the, this implication assumes that A and B are convex. So I want to show A intersection B is a convex set. So in order to show A and A intersection B is a convex set, I need to pick two points, X, one, X and Y. And since X is in A intersection B, X is in A, X also is in B. And Y is in A intersection B, therefore Y is in both A and B. Now, we know A is convex. Uh, so what happens is for any two points, which is in a convex set, we have this linear combination, the convex combination is in A since A is a convex set for any lambda and I just pick that lambda. Now we also have for any two points in B, um, convex combination of any two points in B uh, is back in B again. Now I just uh, need to pick that coefficient for convex combination B lambda. Therefore, I would end up with something like this, and then that convex combination is also in B. Therefore, I have this convex combination in B and this convex combination in, uh, in B, and the other one is in A. Therefore, uh, I can conclude that this point is in A and is in B because it is in both of them. So I proved that when two sets are convex, uh, A intersection B is also convex. Now I have two facts and using those two facts, I am going to prove the, the statement um, uh, of the question. So C is a convex, C is convex if and only if C intersection with any line is convex. Now note that L is convex because L is a line and we prove that. Let's try to prove the only if part and that only if part means we uh, assume that uh, this side of left arrow is true and we show this side. So C intersection is convex. We want to show that only if C is convex. So we suppose C is a convex set. Uh, once you suppose C is a convex set, we have this line, and also we know L is a convex set. And once you have two convex set, we prove that the intersection of these two is also convex set, and then we're done for only if part. Now, I need to prove the F part. F part means we assume that that side, which is the right hand side of the implication, is true, and then we need to prove uh, the other part. So uh, if I assume that C intersection L for any line is convex, I need to show C is convex. But I just need to uh, emphasize on two facts. One fact is that C intersection L uh, should not be an empty set because otherwise it is not a convex set since you cannot pick two points and show the convex combination is uh, back inside the set. 
uh, also we cannot have situation like this where we have only one point and uh, because to show the convexity we need we need to have two points so i would exclude this uh, case we have this case for two distinct uh, for uh, intersection of line and the convex set c so in order to prove this we pick two distinct points right here x1 and x2 on the set c and then consider line passing through x1 and x2 uh, then call that line l from the assumption we know intersection between the line and the set c is a convex set and that intersection is this part so we know this uh, line segment is a convex set because of the assumption once we know this is a convex set that means if i pick any two points on that set uh, which is C intersection L, I would end up, uh, if I pick two points X1 and X2 on C intersection L and find the convex combination, which is this one, I would end up on this set because this is the definition of convexity and I am assuming that C intersection L for any line is convex. Uh, so you might ask, okay uh, uh, what is the next step and there is no uh, step why because once i assume two points on the set two arbitrary points x1 and x2 and uh, because these two points are arbitrary points i would end up with convex combination that lies inside these c intersection l so we can see that uh, uh, the convex combination of these two points is back inside the C intersection L. And that shows for any two points we have this situation. And this is nothing but definition of convexity. So we're done for both parts. What is left is the affine case. And for the affine case, we have the same thing. And uh, for only if part first, we need to show L is affine, which is pretty straightforward. And then we need to show C intersection L is affine. So if you go back to the proof I just uh, showed you, uh, you need to let lambda be in R, not in uh, close interval between 0 and 1. Also, for if part, we need to show um, the the affine set, the C is affine using this by just letting lambda be in R. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, make sure to subscribe and like the video if you have enjoyed this video um, because if you do so I can provide you more uh, videos on this and hopefully I can get back to you sooner. Thank you.